The overall goal of this procedure is to determine if potential anti-cancer compounds inhibit ribonucleic acid or RNA transcription. This is accomplished by first preparing RNA transcription reactions including potential inhibitors. In this experiment, corol compounds which exhibit differential cytotoxic properties are investigated for inhibition of RNA transcription and compared to known inhibitors. After mixing the reactions thoroughly, the reaction tubes are incubated at 37 degrees Celsius and aliquots are removed at desired time points. Next, gel electrophoresis is used to assess relative inhibition. Because ethidium bromide fluoresces upon binding of RNA, darker bands in the gel correspond to higher concentrations of RNA. To quantitate the extent of transcription inhibition, ultraviolet visible or UV-vis spectroscopy is performed. Ultimately, this video demonstrates a straightforward method for evaluating anti-cancer candidate properties through assessing transcription inhibition by corols. Potential anti-cancer drugs should be evaluated for their ability to inhibit RNA transcription. Human cancer cells frequently become dependent on a single activated oncogene for survival. Treatments blocking the expression of the oncogenes are effective in eliminating cancer cells. The RNA transcription inhibition procedure described here is a useful way to identify potential anti-cancer drug candidates and learn more about their mechanism of action. To begin, prepare the corol and inhibitor compounds in a 0.01 to 1 molar ratio of complex to DNA. To do this, dissolve actinomycin D, triptolide, TPFC.